This week in Adventist history was the week that Seventh-day Adventists began to confront their own prejudices. On March 21, 1895, at 4 p.m., Ellen White addressed 30 top church administrators at the 29th General Conference session in Battle Creek, Michigan. She urged them to establish a mission program for African Americans in the southern region of the United States. Her address, entitled Our Duty to the Colored People, was based on a profound application of the Trinitarian Christology that White had embraced from the 1888 GC session. In it, she recounted a vision she had received on race relations five years earlier, in 1890, which she summed up in the theme, All Ye Are Brethren. And she condemned the church for practicing racial discrimination and not doing more for mistreated blacks. She declared, Sin rests upon us as a church. It will always be a difficult matter to deal with the prejudices of the white people in the South, but the way this matter has been treated by some is an offense to God. Nothing could be a more powerful reduct to prejudice than her words, birth, station, nationality or color cannot elevate or degrade men. The character makes the man, and we could add the woman. The Seventh-day Adventist Church is still struggling to live up to this vision, which is also the vision of Galatians 3.28 but it has had good guidelines on the issue of discrimination since this week in 1895.